Now that we have our mockup, we're ready to start coding up our HTML. So as you can see here, we're starting out with a completely blank page. And if I switch over to the HTML markup, you can see that we just have some basic tags here, nothing too fancy. Now, first thing is first, we should give our page a title. So I'm going to call the page Widget Inc. And we should also give it an H1 here. And we also need to wrap our entire page in a wrapper div to center it on the page. So we'll create our wrapper div and wrap it around what we have so far. And next, we need to create our horizontal navigation. To do that, we're going to use an unordered list. Using an unordered list is currently the most accessible way to create horizontal navigation. Without any CSS, it will appear as a vertical list, but we'll fix that later. So right below our H1 here, we'll start our navigation. And we'll put in our first list item, which is going to be a link to the home page. And rather than type out the rest of this, I'm just going to copy and paste from off screen and get the idea. Now we need to create a middle section that's basically going to hold our product image and product information basically the main content of the page. So just past our navigation here, we'll create a div called content. And let's go ahead and add in our product image. We'll give it an ID of product image and we'll put in the path to our image. and we'll give it an alt attribute. And we'll go ahead and close that. Remember, alt tags are required in HTML and it's what screen readers see instead of seeing the image. Now let's add some product information and a purchase button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down the page here a little bit and create some space. I'm gonna create a div called about. And inside of that, we're gonna put some paragraph text and I'm just gonna copy and paste that from off screen. And then just below that, I'm going to put another paragraph and we'll give this one an ID as well and we'll say the new widget, just $10. And we'll use a button element for our purchase button. So when we switch over to the browser and refresh, you can see that this is looking pretty good so far. Now let's go ahead and get started on that comparison table. So switching back to our text editor, we're all done with the content section here and we'll create some space just below that to work in. And we're gonna create another paragraph here just to kind of say what the table is about. We'll say compare widget to other products. Now we're going to start a table and we'll give it the ID of product table and we'll go ahead and close it. Now let's fill out this table. We want to create a T head element to define the table head and we'll create a row and inside of that row we're going to put all the headings of our table. So we'll say product, quality, speed, 
strength, and finally price. All right, now below our T head, we're going to create a few table rows which will compare the products. So I'll just go ahead and create the first one here and I'm going to put it inside of a strong tag. That's going to be widget. And the widget is of high quality. It's fast. It's strong. And it only costs $10. Now, I won't make you sit here and watch me type out the rest of this table, so I'm just going to copy and paste the rest of this information from off screen. And I'll skip down here and put that in. And when we switch back to the browser and refresh, you can see that we now have our table down here at the bottom. And there we have it. Now, let's look at this web page for a second. We haven't added any CSS yet, and in a real-world project, you'd probably be bouncing back and forth between HTML and CSS. However, every so often, it's a good idea to turn off CSS and just see what the page looks like from top to bottom. At the very least, it should be in a sensible, semantic format, starting with the most important information up at the top and working its way down to the bottom to the less important information. That about wraps it up for the HTML. In the next video, we'll move on to CSS.